Hi, Nick Fox again with BO Welding. Today we're going to go over some of the simple welding that we start all our welders on here at the school. So to do so, we're going to get suited up for our welding, set this aside. We already went over setting up our stick welder in a previous video, so be sure to go take a look at that. Uh, welding cap to protect our hair. <laughs> ear plugs to keep hot sparks out of our ear canals. Don't want to burn up our ears. Leather jackets for welding. Keep those hot spots off our arms. We have our fixed shade welding hood with a number 10. That's what we recommend for stick welding. It's the correct shade number to protect your eyes from the UV rays that are gonna be produced. Our stick welding gloves, again, to protect our hands from the intense heat produced from stick welding. And some of the tools we're gonna to use. Grinder, chip and hammer, wire brush, and a file. File's a really good pipe welding tool, but it helps getting the slags out of the toes of our welds. We use Bowler 7018 stick rod here in the shop. It's a great running rod. And we're gonna start off with our eighth inch 7018 low hydrogen electrodes and put them in our stinger. We start all our welders off doing flat pads um, for righties, we have them weld from left to right. That's the easiest way for them to see their puddle. So left to right. For lefties, we would have them weld from right to left. Obviously, we want them to be able to do both, but we start them in the easiest way possible for them to learn fastest. Um, we'll weld from near to far, far to near, left to right, and right to left. And then I encourage my students also to work their left hand as well. So when they're welding pipe later, they are better suited for pipe welding in 6G position. All right, here we go. We're gonna do scratch start. So while our welders are welding, we teach them to react to the puddle. We want them to be able to read the puddle. We go over welding too cold and too hot so they know what to look for if they're running off a machine that has some sort of amperage drop or voltage drop due to a long lead setup. So we want them to know if they're running too hard or too cold. We don't want them to get stuck on one amperage setting. Oh, I need to weld at 124 amps. All machines are acting a little different. All power sources vary a little. So we teach them to react to the puddle. I don't want them set in their ways and I want them to be able to adapt quickly to the environment they're in. All right, that's a 718 stick bead. Throw our subs right in the stub bucket for easy cleanup. We'll go over some different positions in another video. Thanks for following. Please like, share for more videos.